Hello, welcome to the Cell Life Innovators series. Today, I'm going to be interviewing Dr. Jason Stoner, and we're so excited to have him join us. Uh, Dr. Stoner is a board-certified periodontist and implantologist with offices in the Columbus, Ohio area. He holds many degrees, including a master's degree in oral surgery and oral pathology and oral medicine. He's a researcher, a highly regarded authority and mentor to periodontists in and around central Ohio, as well as an international speaker, author of four books, and the founder of Referral Lab, which is what we want to learn about today. Welcome, Dr. Stoner. Thank you. Thank you so much, Liz. I'm so happy that we could talk to you today. Yes. And, uh, you know, having been a specialist for your entire career, I know there are many challenging, uh, challenging situations and the challenge itself of managing and keeping track of the metrics and all of your patients, you know, yes. so, you know, what are your thoughts on that and what's been your experience with that? Well, uh, as a specialist, we have a lot of, we have so much paperwork to do. We have to communicate, our communication systems have to be excellent as specialists. And we have to answer to our general dentists, to our patients, to other specialists, to their physicians. And so being very comprehensive with that can be overwhelming. And, um, but we want to recognize those that support us and entrust us with their patient care, their patient's care so generously. And, um, and, and these metrics allow us to create accountability um, and account accountability runs businesses efficiently and smoothly. And so uh, these serve as an exceptional measurement and communication tool um, for us um, to provide the best to our, to and most comprehensive care to our, uh, our referring dentists and our patients and everyone else involved in the care. So, but as a specialist, there are so many metrics and KPIs to manage and consider that um, it can be overwhelming mm -hmm. and, uh, and requires many hours to analyze that data. And pretty much by the time you develop your Excel spreadsheet, it's already outdated. So, um, we don't have real, it's impossible to have real time data. So we're looking at last month, how many referrals did we get and who sent them and how much time did we spend in the chair and things like that. But it, it's 30 days old, right? Then, you know, so, um, so that's where software such as referral lab makes that much easier to do in, in real time. So you had this idea for referral lab and then and you, then you developed it. So with your experience, you know what you need to be looking for. So how did you go about to getting all of that together? It's it's a funny story because I was at a, a meeting back in 2006 uh, and we were talking about how do you um, run your business? What metrics do you look at and, and, and things like that? And I was shocked by how many people have really, they don't make any decisions based on any metrics for their practices. They think that these people are their top referrals and such, but they aren't necessarily. And you know, there, there are just many, many um, considerations and metrics that you have to consider to make any decision in your business. Mm -hmm. And I've always um, learned that from, from mentors and such. So that was eye-opening. And so I've always been very, very particular about measuring our keeping metrics that are allow us to make the best decisions. And so one day I was sitting in Montana with a friend of mine, Cameron Full, who's also co-invented this with me. And we were talking about case acceptance. And we were talking about how why is it that some people measure case acceptance as nine people out of 10 say yes, and that's 90%, and others say 90,000 out of 100,000 presented is, case, is true case acceptance, and that's 90%. And what are the differences? And so that led down, um, down a path to um, that, 
that allowed us to look at the different ways that that um, practices do measure case acceptance. And, um, and then we were able to go in and, uh, and look at other metrics, like what does, what's the average case value, which is a critical thing. And many KPIs, how long does it take for us to get a patient from their phone call to their consult, and then from their consult to saying yes to treatment, and then from saying yes to treatment, to getting the treatment done. And so all of these important metrics, um, uh, you know, uh, we were talking about, and three weeks later, Cameron comes to me and says, I have this built. I have this developed and it's very rudimentary. And I didn't even know he was going to do it. And so that's when things really started to get exciting and started to roll. So that's how Referral Lab started. That is just a really great, you know, working together with a colleague like that and getting this yes. surprise and having this wonderful, you know, service available. So how does Referral Lab actually work? So Referral Lab, it measure, it is the, first of all, the most comprehensive program for measuring referral data of anything. And there's really nothing like it. There's nothing, there's never been anything that's really been developed like it. And so what it does is it takes algorithms and it takes different um, metrics like case acceptance, um, um, average case value per referring doctor, money spent marketing to each of your referrals, many different things. It looks at 11 different, different items and, it, and you can customize it and weigh it towards what's most important for you. For me, um, it's what's the average case value for um, for our case acceptance, and so so um, we can take all that data and we can build a schedule that allows us to be very efficient, get in um, our our top referring doctors very quickly, and help them prepare patients for um, referral. So it's been it's been great. It, what I love about it is I can look at the case acceptance per doctor. We have four doctors in our practice. We can look at it per treatment coordinator, per team member, and a combination of that. So for instance, I can say, I can, I can look at it and say that, that Maria, Dr. Ferial, with Kristen, our, one of our treatment coordinators, and presenting, um, all on X, for instance, she has the highest, they have the highest case acceptance on the, at these times. And so for that procedure, and I can, we can pair up our treatment coordinators and our doctors to maximize their case acceptance based on procedures. And so, um, so it's very, very, I love that part because um, we know that when an all on X comes, it's going to be with a certain treatment coordinator and a certain doctor because that's the highest case acceptance. Um, right. Also, we can look at case values per referral, time to scheduling patients for for um, for treatment, um, and uh, and and tracking expenses for our for our marketing. So it's um, it's something that is a great. It not only does it provide exceptional metrics, but it provides a great communication tool within our practice. Our marketing director, Julie, all she has to do is look at referral lab and our rankings that are up to date to the minute. They're, um, they're not 30 days old and she knows what action she needs to take. I barely even need to give her direction and she has allows her the freedom to come up with great ideas and and provide to those that provide to us um, in a very significant manner. So. It's great because it sounds like a such a valuable tool where you can get all of that data right there. It's in real time. It's all current, but also for troubleshooting to see oh well you know this they're really successful doing this. What are you doing? How are you doing it? And that's going to just benefit everybody, and you can track it. So it's that's it's right. science based. It's not just your memory or you know what happened yes. last week yes. or 
You know, I always remember those patients that say no and forget about you know, the right, right, exactly. You yeah. can really see what's going on. Oh, it does. So it, that, it, it, allow, it, it provides us with information to make sure that all of our patients are tracked mm -hmm. as they should be. And, um, and it, it gives us a very valuable training tool because if, if this treatment coordinator has the highest case acceptance with this procedure, she can teach others how, to, how she does it. That's so that they can get better. So it's um it's fan it's phenomenal from that standpoint. That's really and it just continues to grow. It just continues to grow. More ideas keep coming in, and it's already something way bigger than we ever thought it would be from one conversation in a barn in Montana. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. So Cameron, who helps us run this, he's our business um, leader, and uh, he's just amazing. So, yeah, well, nice environment to get creative. Montana is beautiful, then there are many times, and you're providing something that is going to be helping, you know, not just the clinicians, but in the end, you're helping your patients because everything is right there. You're not wasting time, and, uh, and it's all really clear. So, how would a doctor get started with Referral Lab? So, I know we'll have you have your website posted, but you know, yes. what can they do to, to take a look? Yeah, it, it's a very easy process. Um, the best way is to get on referrallab.io uh, and, and everything is there or the phone number is 888-733-5522. And um, with that, there will be, the, Cameron will answer the email or the call. And from there, he gives a 20 minute presentation uh, of what all of the metrics and all the graphs and everything that Referral Lab does and how it can benefit those practices, whether it's general or specialty. And so um, he's extremely knowledgeable with it. He's very, um, he's, he's not someone that, uh, that, that talks from above. He, he can talk very well with you and, and, uh, and, and help you along the process and help determine if it's something for you. The way it's um, billed is by month and uh, you can drop it whenever you want to, if you don't think it's for you. And, but we haven't had a practice start it and, and stop using it. Everyone has, who started it has continued to use it. And they, I'll tell you what's been the most fascinating part is that the clinical or the um, the team members take it and run with it, and they so there's been this like little book club almost with Cameron and the uh, and the team members, and every week they talk and get together and talk about how it's a little brainstorm coffee hour basically of oh well, that we're using it for this and and we're using it for that and we'll tell me about that so it's become something like a cult. <laughs> a cult following you almost. Which has been That's fantastic. a good cult. <laughs> yeah, it is. It is. That's awesome. Yeah, and the GPs as well. I mean, you know, every we all need to find out what's happening with our case acceptance. I, there are so many uh, maybe loose ends. There's so many details. Yes. I mean, what we do is such a detail oriented clinical practice. Then you got the whole business end of it, and That's right. what you can do to make it time saving and accurate. Uh, is just phenomenal and just really, really needed. So, yes. wow, I'm excited to learn more and to see it in action for sure. Yes, so, it's, yeah, it's exciting, and I'll tell you, it's it's something where I mean, we're getting. We have always had these ideas. Um, for instance, how much how much can we present in a day to a patient that's not overwhelming in dollars? Let's say. And now we have data, scientific data from 45,000 patients of what that number is. And it's, on, it's, it's proving so many things across the board. So it's really exciting. And it gives us a lot of confidence moving forward on how to approach patients are referring dentists and such. So I'm yeah. really excited about it. I'm grateful for you helping spread the word. This is going to revolutionize every practice that embraces this kind of knowledge. So Absolutely. thank you. Thank you. I mean, you know, our mission at Stella Life is to improve people's lives. 
And that's what you're doing and improving the lives and not, as I said, not just the clinicians, but ultimately the patients. So we can help them, have them live better, longer lives, healthier, pain-free, you know, all yes. of that. So thank you for everything that you're doing, you know, for the international little community. And thanks for your time today. So uh, find out more, everybody, about uh, Referral Lab. It's an amazing service, and it's going to help you be better at what you do, right? And uh, yes. let the rest for everybody. So thank you, Dr. Stoner. Thanks again. And everybody joining us today, uh, really appreciate your time. And we uh, invite you to come back next time when we'll meet another wonderful innovator like Dr. Stoner. And uh, in the meantime, please take care of yourselves and take care of each other. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you, Stella Life. Take care, Liz. Thank you. Thank you. You too. Bye -bye.